a very warm welcome to a new class. Today you need a belt and two bricks and we start in Swastikasana. So you cross your legs, first your right one, then your left one. Sit on the front edge of your blanket so your thighs and your knees can release down towards the floor. Interlock the fingers, roll the shoulders back, press the finger knuckles into the blanket and lift the side chest, lift your sternum up. Move the shoulders down away from your ears and keep the back of your head and your sacrum in line. And then keep this openness, the lift in your chest and bring the hands in front of your chest in Atmanjali Mudra. Close your eyes. And release all the little muscles in your face. So the skin of your face softens. Feel the weight evenly on both sitting bones. So you don't lean back, you don't lean forward. With every inhalation, lift your sternum towards your thumbs. With every exhalation, release the shoulders, release, release your thighs. And I will chant three times on. You can join me at home. Exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. your head down towards your heart, bring the hands down, lift your head and open your eyes, straighten the legs forward, open the back of your legs and then change the cross, first the left leg then the right leg, bring your arms forward and up. Keep your thighs, your knees releasing down and then turn to your right, bring your left hand to your right thigh, reach the right arm behind you, keep lifting the, the chest, the side body and release especially the left outer hip down, the left sitting bone down, lift the left chest, move the left chest forward, turn the abdomen the chest and your head and look over your right shoulder. Come back to center, reach the arms forward and up. Lift the waist up. Turn to your left, bring your right hand to your left thigh, left hand behind you. Keep both shoulders back, elbows back. Lift your right chest, move the right chest forward, both shoulder blades move in and then turn your abdomen, chest and your head and look over your left shoulder. Use your inhalation and your hands to lift and use the exhalation to turn. And then release, come forward, straight.
straighten your legs once more. And then come to Tadasana. Bring your feet together. You can first lift your toes and spread your toes wide so you feel the soles of your feet open and wide and find a stableness on both feet, on both legs equally. Move the outer thighs in. Feel a compactness in your legs. Keep your, keep, keep the arches of the feet lifting, your kneecaps lift up. And then bring the weight on your heels, move your thighs back, move your hips back. So thighs and hips back over your heels and then bring your arms forward and up for Urdhvastasana, reach up. Feel the grounding from the soles of your feet, also from your legs, compactness, firmness in your legs. And then reach the arms and lift your waist away from the hips. So you feel there's a separation. And with your arms reaching up, feel more and more space in between your ribs. There is energy to the fingertips. Bring the arms forward, interlock the fingers. Right, left, no, right little finger first down. Turn the palms forward for Batanguyasana. Reach the arms up. Again, here, keep your thighs back, hips back. Keep the firmness in your arms. Move the outer arms in. Keep the elbows firm. And open the palms of your hands towards the ceiling. Bring the arms forward and then change, left little finger down, press the thumbs together, keep the interlock firm, your thighs back when you reach the arms up. Don't change anything in your legs. Feel, still feel the openness of the soles of your feet. Arches lifting, kneecaps lifting, thighs lifting up. And then the knuckles of your index finger reach up. Open the palms. Move the outer arms in. And bring the <coughs> upper arms next to your ears. Bring your arms forward. Turn the palms to you and come back to Tadasana. Open your arms wide. Reach out till the middle finger. And now feel the wideness of your chest from the center, the collarbones wide. Keep the shoulders releasing down away from, from your ears. And then turn your arms from the shoulder. And so the palms are facing up. Keep the outward rotation of your arms. Keep the length. Keep your legs stable and firm. Reach the arms up. Outer thighs in, hips, thighs back. And slowly reach your arms up. And now again, feel the length. Feel the abdomen, the waist. Getting longer and longer. Reach the arms out to the side. Just turn the forearms, the hands back down towards the floor. Keep the outward rotation in your upper arms. And then you move your arms forward and back in little circles. Keep the arms long, just we show from the side. You keep the arms straight and firm and just make a little circles. And then make the circles bigger, more like plates. Keep your thighs back and then bigger like wheels. Keep the arms still long and firm. Reach out to the fingertips and then make your biggest circle. Reach the arms up and back, forward, 
up and back. So you make your biggest circle. Reach. And then stay in Word Vastasana, palms facing forward. Once more, turn the palms face each other. Lift up, reach out wide. And release the arms down. Tadasana. <laughs> Interlock the fingers behind your back. Roll the outer shoulders back. Straighten the arms. And then reach the arms up and back. Release the arms down once more. Lift the arms, the hands away from the buttocks, away from the floor high and reach back as if you want to come towards the wall behind you. Release down once more. Lift up, keep the chest lifted. Look forward, shoulder blades down and in. When you bring the arms higher, and move from the outer shoulders back towards the wall behind you. Lift and reach back and release. Bring the arms forward and up, Urdhvastasana. Swing your arms back, interlock the fingers different way. Left little finger down. Roll the shoulders back first. <clears throat> arms down towards the floor with a little distance from the buttocks and then lift up. Reach back, release down, lift up, lift the chest, the arms, release, and once more, lift up. And it's not only that you keep the chest lifted, move the arms up, from the outer shoulders, move back towards the wall behind you. And then release. Tadasana, reach the arms up, Urdhvastasana. Tadasana. Now take a belt. <clears throat> and you make a big, big loop in your belt. And you hold the belt. First at the widest, so your arms are really wide. If you notice later that it's not um, easy for you, you can even open wider. So you open the loop like this and then you have your arms. So we'll just maybe show from the front. So you can have a grip here or even here wider. And then you... <coughs> Bring your arms forward, straighten your arms, reach the arms up. Keep the arms straight and simultaneously both arms at the same time, reach the arms back. Again, reach back as if you want to come to the wall behind you, reach up and forward. And if you have the feeling is really wide for you, you can bring the hands closer. If it's too, not wide enough, you go wider, reach up and back. So I want you to keep the arms firm and straight. Don't bend your arms. And don't do one arm first and then the other. So both arms at the same time reach back and overhead. A few more times. If you feel after a while it gets easier, you can bring the hands closer. The arms straight and long, reach up and back. And one last time. And release. Maybe you need the belt now for Gumukasana. So if you're not able to hold your hands behind your back, have your belt over your left shoulder. Turn your right arm in and reach. So you will do it with a little momentum. So you swing your right arm behind you and bring the back of your hand in between your shoulder blades. So you can do it several times and then reach the left arm up 
turn the arms so you have the palms facing back so, and keep this rotation when you now hold your hands or the belt reach the elbows away from each other move your right shoulder back open your chest and then release bring the left arm up and down right arm down now we change with the left hand several times from behind so it's an inward rotation and then swing your arm behind and then you stay reach the right arm up bend and hold your hands or the belt so I want you to have a firm grip so you can move the elbows away from each other now right elbow up left elbow down move the left shoulder back keep the weight on your heels keep your legs firm and stable move the shoulder blades the thoracic spine in to lift the chest and then release right arm up left arm down we will repeat once more we'll show from behind so once more left um, right hand from below right arm then the left arm Again, hold the hands, reach the elbows away, and then you keep your right hand, you release the grip, reach the left arm up, and swing the left arm to the right. So you have now Pashimanamaskarasana. For a moment, press the palms together, move the shoulders back, and then keep the left hand, release the right, turn the right arm out, reach up and hold. Again, firm grip, move the elbows away. And then you keep the left hand, release the right, right arm down and from the side swing to Pashimanamaskarasana. Keep the left and right hand, reach the left arm up, hold. Umukasana. And once more, left hand, Gumukasana, then Pashimanamaskarasana. And once more, right arm up, Gumukasana. And then release both arms. And now we um, come onto the abdomen. So we will lay down on the mat. I will um, change this camera position. And when you have sensitive hips here, you can have a blanket <coughs> over your mat just like this so you have it a little bit softer otherwise you just lay down and have a belt close so <clears throat> not for the beginning but later you will need a belt so you have the belt close <clears throat> and then you lie down on your stomach <clears throat> on your abdomen and you Lift first the right leg up, move or turn the right thigh, the front thigh in. Lift your left leg up, turn the left thigh in. And then bring your legs together. <clears throat> you can release the forehead onto the floor. And um, <clears throat> press the pubic bone down, move the tailbone in. And bring the arms next to you, so your elbows in line with your shoulders, hands in line, or yeah, in line with your head. And you have the wrists and the elbows parallel. So on the side of your mat. If you're not sure, you have a look now. 
and then press the forearms, the wrists, the hands firmly into the floor. S and press the pubic bone into the floor and the feet. Straighten your legs so your knees will lift, your thighs will lift off the floor. And then you lift your head and move the chest forward and up. Just by pressing the arms down, move the shoulders away from your ears, shoulder blades down. And then exhale, you go down, release the head. Inhale, come up. Press the arms, move the tailbone in, release. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale. And now you will do the same, but you will lift your arms simultaneously when you lift the upper body and your head, you will lift your arms. Keep the legs firm. The <coughs> tailbone in, the pubic bone press into the floor so you stay out of your lower back. Inhale, come up. Forearms parallel. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, go down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, go down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now we will go further. So with an inhalation, again you come up. Inhale. Come up. Exhale, reach the arms forward, stay up. Inhale, arms back. Lift. Exhale, arms forward, stay lifted. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Elbows back, chest up. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Ausatmen. Inhale. Lift up and exhale, release down. Every time when you release, you can let the heels turn out. You can also bring the forehead onto your hands so you can turn your head to the side. And then again, bring your legs together. <coughs> Inhale, come up, exhale, arms forward, and now reach the arms back, palms are facing up. Then inhale, you reach the arms forward, palms facing each other, exhale back. And you can decide, so when it's easier for you with an inhalation to reach back, you do so. Exhale forward, inhale back, lift up. Palms facing up, exhale, arms forward, stay lifted. Keep the legs firm, once more forward. Inhale, reach back and stay. Move the shoulders away from your ears. Move the arms towards the wall behind you. Press the feet down, lift the sternum, and then release down. Let the <coughs> heels to the sides so you the back of your legs is turning up from inside out there is a spreading in your sitting bones and then keep your arms back first keep the head on the floor keep the arms back <coughs> the palms palms facing up, straighten the legs, press the feet down, press the pubic bone down and then lift the head and lift the sternum up and then lift once more the arms parallel, 
And several times you can lift the arms a little bit higher and the hands. And then stay up and if possible now, lift your thighs off the floor. Keep the legs straight and together. Lift the sternum and your thighs equally. So lift thighs, sternum, straighten your arms, move the shoulders back and release. And then again, bring your feet together, straighten the legs, interlock the fingers, right little finger down, roll the shoulders back. So you interlock the fingers behind your back, move the tailbone in. And then first inhale, lift up, lift the sternum, the head, reach the arms back, hands a little bit away from the buttocks and then if possible, lift your legs, your thighs. Keep the legs firm, keep your thighs rolling in, front thighs. Lift the thighs higher away from the floor. Lift the sternum, thighs and sternum equally away from the floor. Keep breathing, keep lifting up and release. And once more, bring your legs together, interlock the fingers the other way. Left little finger down. Straighten the arms with the head on the floor. Start to straighten the legs. <coughs> straighten the arms, then first lift your head and the sternum. And then lift your thighs. Reach the arms back, shoulders away from your ears. Look forward and lift up higher with every inhalation. <clears throat> breathe out, once more, breathe in. Stay up, inhale. Last time, inhale and release down. <clears throat> when you turn your head, so you turn your head once to the right, then to the left. And then you bring the legs again together, press the back of your feet down and reach the arms forward. So you have the arms and hands pressing down, hands shoulders width apart, straighten the legs, press the top of the feet down and now you just lift your right leg and your left arm. Lift your right leg, your left arm and press the right hand and the left foot down and then change. Right arm, left arm, <laughs> left leg up, lift up equally, press the left hand down, the right foot and change. Keep both legs straight, both arms long and change. Right arm, left leg, reach up, reach out, change. And now you lift both arms, both legs up and in the air you change. In the air. And release down. <coughs> and now you take the belt in front of you. <coughs> and you Hold the belt as wide as your shoulders are, or may, may, a little bit wider maybe. And um, again, press the 
feet down, straighten the legs, press the pubic bone down, nothing is changing here. Release the forehead down. Or maybe first you just have a short look so you know what's coming. You keep the forehead down and you just lift your arms up. Then you bend your elbows back. You straighten the arms forward and bring the hands back down. We will do that three times. Then you lift the arms, bend, lift the sternum, the chest, bring the sternum chest down and arms forward again. This we will do three times and the last one, lift the arms, bend, lift up and then stay lifting up and reach the arms forward and then everything goes down. So these three variations we will do now together. Straighten the legs, the arms. Press the pubic bone down so you really stay out of your lower back. If it still is not comfortable, you can open the feet wide as the mat to find more release in the lower back. You keep the head down, the fork down. Straighten the legs, the arms. Lift your arms up. Bend the elbows back. Reach the arms forward, release the arms down. Lift the arms up, reach the elbows back, reach forward, release down. Once more, lift the arms, bend the elbows back, the belt is towards your neck. Reach the arms forward, release the hands down. Reach the arms up, bend the elbows, Lift the chest, look forward, then release down, arms forward, release down. Arms up, bend elbows, lift the chest, look forward, release down, arms forward, hands down. Once more like this. <coughs> the straight arms lift up, bend the elbows, lift the chest, high. Release down, arms forward and down. And the last variation, lift your arms, bend your elbows, lift the chest, keep the chest lifted, you can to look to the front edge of your mat, arms long forward, keep the chest lifted and then everything goes down. Lift the arms, bend the elbows, lift the chest. Straighten the arms, keep the chest lifted, and release down. Last time, lift your arms, bend your elbows, lift the chest, reach the arms long. And now lift your legs if you can. Lift your arms high, lift your legs high, and release down. I have one last variation for you. You can repeat one of the variations we already did when you don't feel comfortable with this one. So you hold the belt as we did in standing position very wide. You keep the legs firm, press the feet down, straighten the legs and then you lift your arms up and move the arms behind as we did when we were standing. You find the right distance for your arms. If you feel not comfortable with this one, you repeat what we did before. Inhale, reach back and stay. Reach the arms back, press the feet and the pubic bone down, lift the sternum, lift your head and then bring the arms forward once more. Overhead, <laughs> reach back, reach the arms forward, stay up once more. Press the legs down as if there is a weight and reach the arms back, reach the arms forward and release. Turn the feet wide to the edges of the mat, heels outside, the toes pointing inwards. 
And just for a moment, stay. And then you roll directly onto your back and keep the legs bent. Have your feet hips width apart, close to your outer hips, close to your vertex. Hold the edges of your mat with your hands. Move the shoulder blades in, lift the sternum, keep the tailbone moving in and the pubic bone moving towards the navel when you now press the feet into the floor and lift the hips up, lift the buttocks up. Press the inner heels, the big toe balls down to lift higher, to move the sternum closer to your chin. And stay, lift your outer thighs, your outer hips. Don't let the knees fall apart, so keep the knees over your ankles, so as if you have a brick in between your thighs, that shouldn't fall down. Once more, lift up, high, 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 and then release. And we will do it once more. So keep your neck long. <clears throat> Move the tailbone in, pubic bone towards navel. Press the feet firmly into the floor, especially the inner feet. And then lift up. Come onto the top of your shoulders. And then interlock the fingers. Press the hands down and lift even higher. Open the back of your knees, press the heels down and shift the weight more and more onto the shoulders to open the chest. Inner thighs towards each other, outer hips, outer thighs lift up towards the ceiling. Release the abdomen, keep the tailbone in. And release, open the, or, yeah, the interlock of the fingers. Vertebra by vertebra, release down. Exhale deeply. And then you roll to your side and come once more to standing position, Tadasana. Again, change the camera a bit. Okay. <laughs> you come to the front edge of your mat and you keep your right leg forward and walk your left leg back. And so you have the feet, inner heels in one line, or you open a bit wider. You can be close to wall if you now feel this next thing we're doing, you feel really unstable. Bring your hands to your hips, your thighs to your sacrum, and then you lift the back heel up and really press the front heel down. You really stand stable on your right heel, press the right heel down, lift the left heel up, turn the hips to face the front edge of the mat, and then you bend both knees. And then you lift up again. So you keep the sternum lifted, tailbone in, and come deep down into deep bend. Press the heel. You want to keep the right knee over the ankle, so make the distance wide enough. Again, go deep down. Lift the pubic bone, the sternum, and then again straighten. Two times more, bend. Come up. Bend, stand over your right heel, so there's no weight on your right toes. 
and then walk the left foot forward. Change, left leg forward, right leg back, hands on your hips, elbows back, lift your right heel so you can turn the hips, you want to bring the right outer hip forward and then really find your left heel, press the left heel, keep this chest lifted and bend and then come up, <coughs> bend, come into a deep bend, keep the chest lifted, tailbone in, come up and again bend, press the left heel to come up, straighten and once more bend, shoulders back, Press the left heel, come up and walk the left, right foot forward, Tadasana. Now you <coughs> come onto your knees and bring your right foot in between your hands. Stay on your left knee and bring the hands slightly in front of the foot, the right foot. Again here, the same as before. You really want to anchor your right heel. So there is no weight. You should be able to wiggle your front toes. From here, you shift the weight slightly forward and lift your left leg straight up. You keep your right leg bent. You stay deep in your right leg. You lift your right outer hip and turn the left thigh in. So both hips parallel. Turn the left thigh in, straighten the left leg, and then go back down. Inhale up, stand over your right heel, lift your right outer hip, straighten your left leg. Look slightly forward to lengthen your spine. Move the sternum forward. Come back down. Lift up. Again, lift the right outer hip, turn the left thigh in. Move the sternum forward, stay deep in a deep bend, but lift your left leg from the top left thigh. So you want to bring the left thigh away from the floor. And then again, come down. And now you change, right leg back, left leg forward. Now you bring the weight into the left heel, anchor your left heel and lift your right leg up. Turn the right leg in, lift your left outer hip, so really energy in your left outer hip. Lift the top right thigh away from the floor, lift the sternum forward, move the shoulders away from your ears. Come back down. Lift your right leg up. Stay in a deep bend in your left leg. Feel your left heel, left outer hip active. Reach to the toes, lift your right thigh and come back down. Last time, left leg stays bent, right leg strong and firm. Both leg, both hips parallel. Stay on your right <clears throat> left heel, straighten the left leg, lift your right thigh, sternum forward, shoulders away from ears, and come back down. Um, just maybe you can just bring the right leg forward and come to standing position. So we will go on here. You have your two bricks and bring the bricks, shoulders width apart, the highest position. And you bring your feet together and the hands on the bricks. If possible, your hands are flat. If you are not able to keep the spine long, you can bring the fingertips or you have something like a chair that has more height. <clears throat> feet together now, straighten your legs. Now both legs are, are straight. The feet are underneath your hips, the hands are underneath your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Move the sternum forward, lift your kneecaps, lift your thighs. And from here stand totally stable now on your right leg and lift your left leg parallel towards the floor. 
Keep the left leg turning in. You can look at your toes, so your toes should point down towards the floor. Keep the right outer hip strong. Lift your right hip up and release the left leg. Lift your right leg. Parallel, lift your top thigh, the right thigh away from the floor. Keep turning in, toes point down, look forward or to the floor in front of you. And change, once more, left leg up, right leg strong. Keep lifting right outer hip up, turn the left thigh in. So there's energy to the toes and come back down, left leg up, uh, right leg up, sorry. Stand on your left leg, keep the left outer hip lifting, turn the right leg in, reach back to the balls of the toes. And come back. Bring the hands to your hips and stand up. Now you can take the bricks away and come back into the front hatch. Hands on your hips. Keep the right leg forward. Walk your left leg back. And <coughs> Have the right distance for Virabhadrasana 1. Again, press the right heel down, turn the hips from left to right. Move the tailbone and lift the chest. And I want you to lift your left heel a bit when you bend your right leg. So you can bend, um, not bend, <laughs> you can lift your left heel, but you want to move the left heel towards the floor. So your left leg totally straight, and then press the right heel into the floor, come up once more. Bend again, come into a deep bend, 90 degree angle, reach the arms forward and up. Shift the weight forward, so bring the abdomen over your right thigh, move your right hip back, and then just lift your left leg, keep the right leg bent. Keep your left leg, turn the left thighs in, move the arms forward, and then big step back, to Virabhadrasana 1. Once more, shift the weight forward. Keep the bend in your right leg. Keep your right outer hip strong. Lift your left leg up. Parallel. Reach the arms and the foot back to Virabhadrasana 1. Arms up. Last time, forward. Lift your left leg and now when you have the energy, you straighten your right leg, arms forward, both legs strong, tailbone in, and come back. Virabhadrasana 1. Now for this last one, press the heel down, lift the arms up, and bring the hands back down. Straighten your right leg, and come forward, Tadasana. <laughs> We will repeat the same sequence on the left side. Bring the hands on your hips. Keep your left leg forward. Walk your right foot back. So just to turn the hips, you can lift your right heel a little bit, but the energy of the heel is towards the floor. Stand on your right, on your left heel, bend your left leg, Keep your right leg strong, go deep down and then press the left heel into the floor and straighten the left leg again. Again, bend the left leg, reach the arms up and then come forward, bring the weight over your leg. Keep the left outer hip strong and then lift the right leg up. <clears throat> Keep the left leg bent. Reach the arms forward and then back. To Virabhadrasana 1. Arms up. Inhale, come forward. Just lift your right leg up. Turn the right leg in. Keep lifting the left outer hip. Keep the left leg bent. Reach the arms forward. Come back. 
Virabhadrasana one. Last time, come forward, lift your right leg, turn the right leg in, and then straighten the left leg. Both legs strong, arms forward. Come back. You can now press the back heel down. Go in a deep bend, arms up, and then bring the hands down, straighten the <coughs> left leg, and walk your right foot forward. <coughs> now you take your two bricks, flat and together, like so. Um, and you come to Supta Tadasana with the heels on the bricks. So you have the feet separated, one brick for one heel. You press the hands down or you can hold again the edges of your mat. Straighten your legs, keep your neck long. Roll your shoulders under outer shoulders under to move the shoulder blades in and then press the arms into the floor press the heels into the bricks keep the legs firm move the tailbone in and lift the buttocks lift your hips up just some centimeters move the buttocks towards the heels heels towards the wall behind you and come back down once more, press the heels, lift up. Keep the legs firm, tailbone in, pubic bone towards the navel, chest lifted. Come back down. And one last time, press the arms, press the heels, straighten the legs, lift your hips. And release, bend your knees, just stay a moment on your back. <coughs> and then roll to your side. Now I'll give you a opportunity. You can do either directly sit to bundle. This we will do anyway. But for the um, students who are now maybe a bit tired, <laughs> you can bring the brick under your sacrum. If you have a wall, you bring the feet towards the wall, interlock the fingers and stay here. You can keep the legs bent if that feels better. And for the others, we do one last um, maybe challenging, I don't know, asana, um, pincha mayurasana. So you forearm stand. So you can use the brick, you can use the wall, you can also use the belt around your elbows that your elbows are not sliding to the side. I will show you have the brick, can you see? Yeah. On the wall, you bring the hands, the thumbs and index finger around and you want to keep the elbows, shoulders width apart. So press the arms down, the wrists down, look to the brick or to the wall in front of you. And then you lift your knees, walk your feet in, keep your shoulders lifted, shoulder blades away from the wall. You can stay here. You can lift one leg up or you can kick up and stay in Pincha Mayurasana. So for those of you who are still here or want to join, we will do Pincha Mayurasana three times. You can balance if you're able 
You can use the belt, I just show once. This is around, if you want to use, it's around the elbows so the elbows cannot slide to the side. And when you're ready, you come up, you choose for yourself what you need today, a wall, a brick, a belt or nothing. Press the forearms, the inner wrists down. Don't let your head hang, look to the brick or look in between your thumbs. Lift your knees, walk your feet in and then lift your shoulders and you can stay you can lift one leg up, turn the leg in, or you can kick up and find your pincha mayurasana. Move the tailbone in. Stay as long as you are able, half a minute, 10 seconds, whatever is possible for you, you stay. When you are still up, move the buttocks towards the heels, move the heels up the wall. And when you are already down, you repeat. Then you kick up with the other leg or you lift the other leg. So you are up three times. And when you still have time, you can come up five times. Pressing the forearms down. Keep lifting the shoulders, shoulder blades in away from the wall. And when you are finished, you just can stay for a moment upright on your heels in Vajrasana. And then you also come to Situ Banda. As I showed before, you have the brick lengthwise underneath your sacrum. So you do that. It's nice when you straighten the legs to have the wall, to have this little support. Turn the heels out slightly. Interlock the fingers, come onto the top of your shoulders. <coughs> Again, here, move the tailbone in, move the buttocks towards the heels, press the heels into the wall, straighten the legs, <coughs> turn the front thighs in, and release the abdomen. We just stay here for some more breath, like for for a minute or so. So and I'm not speaking, I'm still here. You just can close your eyes and or you look towards the sternum. Don't look around, don't look up. So, your eyes I'm off focusing inside. Like even if your eyes are open, you are directing the view 
inside of you. So you find stillness in this posture. Some breath more. You can change the interlock if you feel the need to do so. And then very gentle, slowly bend your legs, release the interlock, the grip of your hands, press the feet down and then lift the hips up, take the brick away and just stay a, a moment here without brick, press the feet, lift up you can hold the edges of your mat with your hands and then slowly release down vertebra by vertebra so the sacrum is the last and then roll over to your right side come to sit and you will do one twist now, Bharat Bajasana one. So maybe you want to have a blanket, otherwise you just bring your legs to your left. So you have the left foot in the arch of your right foot. Move your hips slightly to the right of, away from your right heel and then maybe we just turn so you can if you're able you hold with your right hand your left heel otherwise the right hand is behind you and then keep the left outer hip the left groin moving down towards the floor but lift your left chest and turn right shoulder back turn your head look over your right come back to center lean to the right swing your legs to the right slightly move your hips to the left away from the heel and then swing your arm around if you're able hold your right heel with your left hand right hand on your thighs and then bring the right outer hip down, right sitting bone down, but lift your right armpit, your right chest away from this hip to find the length and turn. Keep the shoulders back, shoulder blades moving down and in. Find a deep twist. Release the abdomen and turn. Come back to center. Lean to the left, swing your legs to the left. We will repeat. Hold your heel or bring the hand behind you. Left hand on your right thigh. Left outer hip down, left sitting bone down. Lift the left armpit, the left chest. Move the chest forward. Right shoulder way back. Look over your right shoulder. Come back to center, change, reach the arm back, especially right sitting bone, right outer hip grounded, right chest up and forward, both shoulders stay back, elbows back, turn, 
the abdomen, the chest and your head. And come back to center. Bring the legs forward. Now for Paschimottanasana you can have a belt. Separate the sitting bones, turn the front thighs in. If you're able to hold your feet, you hold your feet. Otherwise you can have a belt and just stay here. Press the legs down, lift the spine, lift the sternum, just stay here. Or you hold, you hold the, out the edges of your feet. From the sacrum, move forward. Inner groins down. Back of your knees down. And then slowly bend your elbows. Reach the sternum forward. You can interlock your fingers and then release the head down. If this is possible, otherwise you stay with the concave back. Elbows up, shoulders down. Keep the legs firm. Release the head. Stay for some more breath. Slowly come back up and release and then take everything you need for Shavasana, a blanket for your head. Support your neck and your head. And then move the buttocks away from your lumbar spine, your lower back, so your lower back stays long. Straighten one leg after the other, straighten both sides of your neck. Turn the arms out. So your armpits are still open. And then slowly, when you find you are centered, the arms, the legs, the same distance from the center, you can close your eyes. And then take a slow inhalation and a deep exhalation. Take a slow inhalation and a deep exhalation. With every exhalation, let go. Feel the earth beneath you, holding you. Let your whole body become heavy and sink into this earth. Your feet, your legs, Shoulders, arms, hands. Release every part. Release the back of your head, your face. Let go of any tension. Feel the softness of your skin, the heaviness of your bones.
and observe and follow your breath. Follow the inhalation, the exhalation. Find a deep connection. That you are part of. Every sound around you is part of the same. Feel this oneness within you. Thank you so much for practicing with me. God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.